All right, I'm going to show you a basic slip bobber rig for springtime crappie fishing. Uh, it's the same rig we use almost every spring. I'm uh, also going to show you a spring bobber rig with a jig head. Um, so what you're going to need is a slip, a bead, a spring bobber, a slip bobber, and a jig head. So the first thing you're going to need is a slip. Um, there's different kinds of slips. They have plastic slips, they have thread slips. A lot of people really prefer the thread slip, um, being less abrasive on the line. And with those, you would slide the thread onto the slip. You would pull both ends, and then you would clip the ends. Uh, this is a plastic slip, and what you would do is you run the line. Through, it's got two holes on either end of it. You would run the hole, the line through one hole, wrap it around or halfway around the slip and run it back through the other hole so the line is twisted around the slip. You want it taut but not so taut that it kinks your line. Just tight enough that you can slide it up and down. Uh, that's going to tell you, that's going to control your depth. The farther up your line you slide it, the deeper you're allowed to fish, basically. Uh, next you're going to put a bead on and all the bead does is act as any bead does over any hook or any bobber. It prevents, in this case it's preventing the um, bobber from sliding over the slip and sliding indefinitely up your line. So you have slip, bead, and then you will take the slip bobber and you'll slide on your slip bobber. Um, I prefer these thrill bobbers mostly because they're weighted and they sit upright and they seem to cast a little bit farther. Slip, bead, bobber, and then we just tie a jig head, a plain old jig head on the bottom. Um, anywhere from quarter ounce to half ounce, depending on how quick we're moving. In this case, we were pulling it with a quarter ounce jig head. And we found that on this particular day, the ones with the spinners were working better than the regular jig heads, although we were running both. So that is pretty much it. That would be your basic slip as it drops, boom. We were then tipping these jig heads with minnows. Um, but you don't necessarily have to. We were, uh, it was working better for us at the time. All right, I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, hey Paul, I watched that video and you weren't using the slip bobber. You're only using the slip bobber on one rod. You're the rod you had a spring bobber on. Um, yes, and I know that I talk um, poorly on spring bobbers sometimes. They do have their purpose. I prefer slip bobbers because I can fish so much deeper. But in this case, I was throwing real light line. I was only throwing three pound tests and I had little, I was just throwing little crappie jigs of various colors trying to find one that worked. Uh, with crappie I like to start with white, green, and pink and then if those three don't work I'll go out from there. Um, those are my three that I like to start with. Uh, in this case I was throwing green and it wasn't working. I had a little black 30 second ounce jig head, jig head on. Well the jig wasn't working and the bobber started going down. So. I'm not, I'm not uh, that stubborn, so if I'm throwing something and the two guys in my boat are catching fish and I haven't got a hit yet, it's not going to take me very long to change. So rather than retie and set up a whole new slip bobber rig, I simply pulled out my spring bobber, found a depth, gave it a couple wraps, and I was ready to fish. Uh, and I just threw it just like that. The idea was I just wanted to be in the water when the fish were biting. Uh, we were only out there for about three and a half, four hours, so I wanted to be in it while they were biting, and that's why I chose the spring bobber at that moment. So they do have their purposes, and they will work in shallower water, and they'll work pretty well in the spring for the most part. A lot of the fish are on the beds, and, but as it gets later in the year, or if you're fishing rivers for trout, I still always prefer a slip bobber um, in comparison to a spring bobber. Uh, they both happen to be thrill uh, with the weight on the bottom. I really enjoy the weight. It's a weighted bobber with a little rubber flange to hold the weight up and they cast better, they sit up straighter. They're just, they're a little bit more money, but they're worth the extra money. All right, so those are the two rigs we use, both the slip bobber and the spring bobber, and hopefully you have a pretty good handle on it. Now, let's see if they work.
mother truck. She let him take it longer. She let him take it longer. Yeah. Oh no, he's on. Oh, he came back. I was starting reeling it in. He came back and hit it, and I hooked him. Unbelievable. Oh, mother. <laughs> crappie. Oh man, it's a monstrous crappie. Grab him by the grab him by the no, no, no. Oh my god. Alright, well there are two very basic rigs, a sprit box. Mother truck. Alright, well there are two very basic rigs, a slip bobber rig and a spring bobber. Uh-huh.